What's up guys? Austin here, Northern Mechanical, plumbing, gas, heating, cooling from Albuquerque. A lot of you have seen my channel, known as Growers of the Best, and we are transitioning to mechanical videos and how-tos. So this first one is going to be on installing an underground gas line. Here we go and enjoy. That, my friends, is how you dig a trench. So we're bringing that new gas meter in from there, or new gas line, sorry. Minimum depth in the code book says 12 inches or 18 inches, depending on frost line. So we always dig them 18. This is probably about 80 to 100 feet. Had a lot of roots here, but now I will show you the process. Now we're gonna get our risers. This is called SDR 11. This is one inch flexible underground gas pipe. Got our buried gas line tape. And these are our risers, which is one inch threads up top under that cap. And similar to a union or a liquid tight fitting. I'll show you how that works. And these are gonna be our riser for our meter and riser for our new modular home. This house is being abandoned and this new this gas meter is getting a new one inch line all the way to the back of the house where they're going to put a modular home on both ends like so Crunches. Want me to hold it?
we pull it up so we can this is what our setup's going to look like near the meter one inch gas valve one inch nipple by one inch three quarter by one inch reducer three quarter nipple and pressure gauge up to 15 psi code wants half of that gauge filled so we will fill it to 7.5 We are going to Teflon these and pipe dope, which is thread sealant. Oops. That's hilarious. Where'd you hear that one? Aaron. Aaron? <laughs> a crackhead would know a crackhead joke. Why do you crackheads don't join the Olympics? Because they won't pass the torch. <laughs> Alright, pipe wrenches. This will tighten everything from the top down. Let's get some dirt under here. Might as well just say we. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
per code we got to run tracer wire it's supposed to be yellow but we got a cream white i think this will be good so we've got our other end capped wires going in and we are ready to fill it with air side note if you did need a coupling this is what they look like. They twist together just like the ends of those risers. But you do need to wrap them underground. And we'll show you the pipe wrap in a little bit. Alright guys, this is the one of my favorite tools. Milwaukee M12. Little itty bitty compressor. Use it for bike tires and all sorts of things. And it's extremely convenient for times like this. And this is a short run. I filled up a restaurant yesterday with two inch gas lines and it only took about five minutes. So this one's gonna fill up pretty quick. So we're gonna turn it on. Set it to 15. Now we'll just see if it works at seven. Hmm. Whoops. Edit that out later. <laughs> Let's try that again. Whoopsie daisy. And we're going to stop it right there, halfway. Now we'll wait for 15 minutes, see if it holds, which I'm sure it will. And we're actually gonna fill it up twice because after we know that it holds for 15 minutes, we're gonna open that cap at the other end and blow air through the line to blow out any dirt and purge the system. And then we'll fill it back up and we can get our inspection before we backfill. Once we know that it's holding air for sure, I will show you how we pipe wrap this with these products here. This is the only thing Marty wraps, generally. That's what I'm good at. Huh. So we put this on all the galvy, or the steel, and up to ground level, just above ground level. And this is primer. Slather it on there. Delicious. Do we know what the purpose of this is for? For not corroding. So cockroaches can't get in. Because everyone knows they love gas. Just to make sure we don't have no leaks. <laughs> if you get a leak, just put this on it. So that's essentially it guys, we just uh, took the cap off over there, continuously ran air through here, folding his hand over the open pipe and letting it go, purging all of the sediment or dirt or anything that could have gotten the line, and now we will wait for inspection, leaving this capped at 7.5 psi. And then we'll come back and backfill and put our buried gas line on the dirt above it. And that's it. That's how we're leaving it. Got our 
caution. Got our cap end here. Taped up, pipe wrap. 